So we are going to start four work, synodic, four synodically authorized worshiping communities. Or considering <coughs> synodically authorized worshiping communities are different than mission starts. Mission starts was who we've done the demographics, we've hired the uh, mission developer, we bought some land, and oh, Bishop, did we tell you we're the ELCA? We're starting something in your synod. We don't do that anymore. Aaron, what did you videotape? We don't reinforce failure. <laughs> we do years of exploration now to see if there are people interested in forming a synodically authorized worshiping community um, that will come together around word and sacrament for probably a three year period. It can stop at any time along the way, and if there is interest, um, it may grow into a congregation. We are not building new synodically authorized worshiping communities for people who are mad at their church. So I'm really mad at St. Stephen's. <laughs> Gary Bungie gave me a dirty look in the parking lot. <laughs> so we're doing a new synodically authorized worshiping community across the street. We're not doing that. Right? This is about new Christians or ethnic specific communities. Right? So many of people read that in my report and they've already got the mission start and the building and the history of how it didn't go well last time. And we are Dave is eager to talk to you all and it's a different ballgame. So I have one thing. Yes. Synodically authorized worshiping communities cannot own property. So they can't decide to build a building unless they and the synod and the congregations in their area are ready for them to move to a building. Okay. 